to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to take a look at whatever message your higher self deems most important for you right now. We're going to use a single oracle deck for each reading and ask for messages from your higher self. Please remember, this is still a general reading lots of people and lots of messages. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general higher self one message reading, we are going to have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, and reading number four. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one. Let's take a look at the message from your higher self. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward whatever message the higher selves of group number one deem most important for them at this time. Thank you for your guidance. Okay. On the right path so that's wonderful that's that's a wonderful card to start with being on the right path is so important and they're encouraging you to um, to continue take the first step okay so you may be at the very beginning of this right path but take the first step jump in go for it clear your energy all right so make sure that you're looking at things from a position of your desire as opposed to your fear and a little energy cleansing might be helpful and perseverance all right so continue on even when there's challenges okay um i feel like your higher selves are encouraging you to get started you are on the right path you need to take the first step and really if we stop moving then the next step is always the first step you know um, we are taking that first step down this right path. You may have been traveling this path for a while, but if you stop or you pause or you wonder, hey, is this even the right path? Then you're going to be taking that first step again when you start moving forward again. So m keep that motion going. Move forward. If you start to encounter challenge, persevere. One of the best ways to deal with challenge in front of you is to clear your energy. Make sure that you're focused on positive things, looking at things from a positive perspective. Don't get bogged down in looking at the challenge, how difficult the challenge could be, or fearing the challenge. Instead, you know, really find that resolve in yourself to say, I got this, you know, it's in my path, I've got this, I'm gonna overcome it, I'm gonna persevere, I'm gonna move through it, everything's gonna be fine, and then clear your energy. And there's lots of different ways to clear your energy. You can use water, you can use energy, sense you can use your own mind to clear your energy but make sure that when you do see those challenges out in front of you you start with a clear energy because if you're starting from a position of um, worry or fear or doubt then you're at a disadvantage so clear your energy so that you can see the positive and move forward but the most important thing here is the very first thing your higher self said and that is you are on the right path so you are on the right path don't doubt yourself anymore just keep moving forward you got this all right that is all I have for reading number one Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click those subscribe buttons 
Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two. Let's see what your message is. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number two, please bring forward whatever message their higher selves deem most important for them to hear right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see here. Disappointment is not the end. There is hope even in the darkest of nights. So whatever disappointment you're dealing with, your guides want you to know you're going to get through it. It's going to be okay. Be present. Find clarity in the moment. Okay. So whatever didn't work out, um, you're going to move past that. Focus on this moment. Being present. Choose yourself today. Do not deny your importance. Okay. Okay. I feel like you guys are dealing with a significant disappointment. Um, maybe somebody let you down. Maybe somebody betrayed you. Maybe you didn't win. Maybe you didn't succeed um, at somewhere that you desired to succeed. No matter what the disappointment looks like, it's not the end. Okay? There is hope in the future. Don't focus on what didn't work out. Instead, be present in this moment. Focus on this moment. Find things you're grateful for in this moment in your life. And let this moment be your focus. Be present in the now. Don't focus on whatever the disappointment was. And then choose yourself today. Make yourself a priority. Show yourself a little extra self-love. Make sure that you are focused on doing what you need to be happy, healthy, safe, all of it take care of you today you focus on you don't even worry about what didn't work out there's hope for the future so let whatever didn't work out just leave it leave it where it is for right now and focus on yourself in this present moment doing what you need to feel better in your current energy okay whatever disappointment it was whether it was a failed relationship or a failed exam or whatever uh, whatever it was It'll take care of itself, and there is hope of things improving in the future, okay? It's not going to end in this disappointment. So instead of letting that be your focus and draining your energy, focus on right now, this moment, your breath, what's around you, the things that you have to be grateful for, and then choose yourself over and over again all day. You need to remind you that you're worthy of being chosen by you. You should be your greatest champion and you need to choose you because you are having a really rough time. So be in the moment, choose yourself, let go of the disappointment. Good things are out in front of you. This is not going to be where it ends. All right. That is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three. All right, let's see what message your higher selves have for you. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number three. Please bring forward whatever message their higher selves deem most important for them right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. The divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, gut incidences. Okay. Halls of learning, spirit guides, confirmation, great lessons. Hathor light codes, light immersion, full system upgrade, power recall. Okay, so I feel like um, you're being reminded that we are all interconnected. Um, we are all connected to everything in our energy. And if you are ch dealing with some challenging lessons or um, some situations that have been a challenge to you, 
then it's important to reach out to those that you're connected with, your soul family, your friend family, um, for assistance. You can also reach out to your spirit guides for assistance. Now, I feel like you've been going through some really significant lessons um, in your life, which lessons are, are challenging, you know? That's, that's the idea. In school, um, everything is challenging. Like, you look back at it and you go, oh, well, second grade math wasn't that hard. But to a second grader, it is, you know? And that's, that's the thing. We are all still growing. No matter what point we are in our life, we're growing, we're learning, and we have lessons. You guys have been through some significant lessons in your recent past. You may still be going through some. It is because you are going through a full system upgrade. You are upgrading like, you know, it's almost like, you know, graduation from one level of education to another. You are moving in a very significant way. And that's why these lessons keep coming back to back. So you're being told to um, reach out for interconnectedness guidance, reach out for interconnectedness support, and realize that you are going through these challenges because you are upgrading. Also, you've got that power recall. It is very important to call back your power. If you have been drained by challenges and lessons, call back your power. Remember who you are. Remember your strength. Remember your courage. Remember your energy and call back your energy. This light immersion, really focus on positive energy. Give yourself a break where you just focus on positive energy and rejuvenate yourself. You might even you know, need like a like a short break, like you know, a little weekend vacation or something where you just focus on taking care of you. You've been through a lot. It, you need to um, call in support if you feel you need it. And uh, remember that we go through these challenges back to back like you have been because you are upgrading, you are graduating to the next level in your spiritual path journey. So it's not for nothing. It is all kinds of growth and positivity. Growth is wonderful. Um, growth is fantastic and necessary and nobody ever said it was easy. Well, I mean, if they did, they didn't know what they were talking about. Growth is not an easy thing. Growth comes from being out of our comfort zone and it comes from challenge. You guys are doing great. Your higher selves are saying that you are doing great. Um, pay attention to the synchronicities. Your guides are talking to you through them. So if you keep seeing the angel numbers or things keep happening that just are way beyond coincidence, it's a God incidence. It's, it's from the divine power within and the divine power of all of us connected in consciousness. So you've got this. Your, your higher self is telling you you've got this. Take care of yourself. Take a break if you need to. Call in some support. Remember as you're going through the lessons, because I don't think that they're necessarily completely over, um, as you're going through them, make sure you remember this is for your growth. Growth is not easy, but it's totally worth it. You're going to move into the next phase of your spiritual journey, and you're going to be grateful. Future you is going to be grateful to current you for the work you're putting in. All right, that is all I have for reading at number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four. Let's see what your message from your higher self is. Angels spirit guides, ancestors. For group number four, please bring forward whatever message their higher selves deem most important for them right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. Courageous. May each breaking wave build your courage. Okay. So kind of going through some, uh, some turbulent tides. Magic. May you flow with the divine. I like it. Joy. May you pursue what lights you up. Okay. So I feel like you have been dealing with some challenges, but your, your higher self is trying to remind you that it is to build you up. The, challenge you're face, the challenges you've been facing are to build you up. 
Um, the magic, you are magic. We are magic. The magic of intention, the magic of life, the magic of consciousness. Um, you flow with a very divine magic and that is being honed and trained through the waves, you know, and your courage to continue on is, um, yeah, it's beautiful. And I also like, look at the sea here. You've got this, this big wave that's crashing. Like those are turbulent seas, but this it's all peaceful and you know, quiet. There is going to be times like that for you as well. It's not always going to be waves. So enjoy the quiet, um, enjoy the times of peace, enjoy the times of, um, just, you know, you kind of walking in your magic essence, you walking in your own consciousness, and then pursue joy, whatever makes you happy, whatever brings light into your life, pursue joy. There will always be the next wave somewhere out there in the ocean headed your way. That's the way life works. Those are lessons. Those are challenges. They help build our courage and our strength and our, you know, and our magic even, our intention to overcome is designed through these challenges. So know that with every challenge you face, you become that much more magical. And every moment that you're not dealing with a turbulent tide and having to overcome the challenge of the moment, you should be seeking joy. Really, you should be seeking joy always. But when you're going through things, that's a little bit more challenging. But when things are quiet, when things calm down, make sure that joy and gratitude are at the forefront of your thinking. Whatever brings you joy, enjoy it. Spend time in your joy. Let yourself light up. You're a beautiful light for everyone around you. So let yourself light up and um, focus on your joy. Your joy is part of the reason you're here. We're here not just to grow and overcome challenges. We're here to enjoy the, the flavor of ice cream and the beauty of a sunset and, you know, um, that sudden rain shower that gets you drenched when you're, you know, running inside and laughing with your friends. Those moments of joy are part of why we're here. That's why we keep coming back because joy is amazing. So make sure that you take the time to enjoy your joy. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.